guys, and welcome back to another episode of Selena Talks Her Camera in Her Room about her lack of self-restraint and her increasing amount of clothing. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Blue Notes jeans. If you know me in real life, you'll know that I am currently obsessed with Blue Notes. Blue Notes is a Canadian brand, so if you're from America, you might not have heard of it. We're going to get started with jeans from the lighter wash to the darker wash, because I have a lot of jeans from then. Mostly I've gotten jeans from their mom jeans collection. I'll be showing them all to you and I'll be explaining how much they were, why I got them, and what I like about them, what I don't like about them. We're just gonna get started with the first pair of jeans, which is the one I'm wearing right now. So this pair of jeans is a acid wash, non-ripped jeans. So it's completely clean. There's no distressing anywhere. It's a straight legged, very light wash, almost white type of jeans. Now what's really specific about me when I'm purchasing jeans is that I don't actually like the traditional blue that much. I actually like either a really light acid wash or a really dark wash of jean just because I feel like the blue kind of acts as a color on its own because you know the saying you can't have more than three colors in your outfit unless black and white are a part of it. This is actually one of my favorite pairs of jeans I got from Blue Notes. They were originally $40 but they were 50% off so I got them for $20. Oh quick tip if you're thinking of buying from Blue Notes all my Canadian friends. When you're buying their jeans, do not settle for more than half price. Do not settle for their 40% new arrivals. Their nicer jeans won't go lower than 50%. So if you really want like a really good mom jean or their paper bag type of styles, you'll really want to snatch them at 50% because that's the lowest they'll get. Sometimes, occasionally, if they have stock left over, they'll go for lower. So for example, they'll go for like $15 or like $18. But at that point, usually there's not very many sizes left. So I suggest to highly buy them when they're at 50%. They go to 50% pretty often so you'll get a really good pair of jeans honestly for $20 which is not a bad price for new jeans. Back to this pair of jeans what I really like about this pair is that it's actually one of the stiffer types of denim material that I've gotten from Blue Notes lately. Blue Notes does carry a lot of jeans in like a very thin material and even some of their mom jeans don't have like the actual denim feeling so you know how when you get jeans from like Levi's or from Zara their jeans are all like a really stiff denim like you can't move in them. You stand there and you're starched and you can only stand there. So that's the type of good denim quality that we're trying to buy for. This pair is actually one of the stiffer pairs that I got from Blue Notes because their material and their sizing like kind of varies even if they're the same material, even if they're the same size, it'll change. So I've gotten some jeans that are less stiff of denim material. This one I've gotten that's more stiff and seems better quality. So moving on to the second pair of jeans. So this was from like their summer mom jeans line. So it does have distressing around the knee, around the bottom of the jean, at like the sides and stuff like that. This is the thinnest type of denim that I've gotten from Blue Notes. It is a very very light denim so it's very good for summer and I really like them because I just really like this wash for some reason like it's not acid acid wash it's like it's not white acid wash it's not medium wash it's kind of just like a dull down acid wash and I know a lot of people don't really like acid wash but it's really flattering and I like how the distressing kind of you know juxtaposes oh yes juxtaposes the amount of material at the top with some like, you know, lightening up at the bottom. The only thing I have with this pair of jeans is that it's made for people who are really tall. Like, the distressing is supposed to be at the knee, but it goes right below my knee and it's at a really awkward place. But if I, you know, if I roll it up at the bottoms and I pull it up a bit, it's like, it's fine. I do wear this with a belt because their lower sizing was too small and yet like the sizing that I was supposed to wear is just like a tiny bit too loose. But otherwise, I really love it. It goes right to the belly button. It's a really good pair of jeans. Oh, by the way, this is not a paid promotion from Blue Notes. I do wish that Blue Notes would sponsor me considering how much clothing I've gotten from them in the past couple of years. But regardless, no, this is not a paid promotion. I'm doing this all on my own free will, every of one of these opinions are my own, don't worry about that. Okay, so this is the normal medium wash pair of jeans. I did say that I don't really like medium wash, but I feel like because it's such a classic that I should have at least one pair. So this is also mom jeans and they're gorgeous. There's no distressing on them at all. They're completely clean, which is something that's kind of rare from Blue Notes jeans. I think Blue Notes stocks up on their jeans around like winter that aren't distressed. So that's where I got most of my jeans from. I got them in like December to January around that time. Most of mine are not distressed. So they're completely clean, which honestly I prefer on my jeans because it's kind of cold here. <laughs> this pair is significantly larger and looser than the other ones. I don't know what it is with Blue Note sizing. Even if you get two of the same exact jeans in the exact same size, their size will be different. 
I mean, I guess some people do like the baggy style of jean. I don't love it, but I'm not against it. It is a little bit bigger, so I do have to always wear a belt with it, which is fine because I have a really big collection of belts and I love my belts. This is, I think, the second thinnest, so just a little bit thicker than the Distress pair that I showed you before. But otherwise, I do wear this a lot because it's really easy to tuck shirts in since it is so much bigger on the waist. Moving on to the last pair of mom jeans that I got. It's actually the newest pair that I ordered online from them, and it is a pair of jeans that I've been wanting for so long. Just a black, not distressed mom jeans, high-rise mom jeans. And they're the perfect pair. Like, they're so gorgeous. They're the stiffest denim out of all of the four jeans that I showed you. They're, the denim is really stiff. Like, honestly, I can't, I can't really sit in them. I don't think I'm the thickest. Is, is that school appropriate? I don't think I'm um, the uh, most voluminous in body size, but even then, there's really not much space left after I put it on. I've only worn it like twice, so if I break it in, I'm sure it'll be perfect and it'll last a very long time because of how stiff the denim is. I think it's the perfect pair of like stiff denim jeans and honestly, it's my favorite pair because it is black. My only problem with it is that it's kind of too dark. You know how there's like the acid black? Acid black? Like the stone wash black. Like the vintage wash black where it's almost grayish and it's not as aggressively black. The only reason I want it to be more vintagey is because when I wear this and especially if I wear it with like a shirt like this, it's really easy to like lose sight of my entire body. Like I don't know where my body is and it loses the form as well. Like Best Dress said, you lose your waist. Ah, yes. Okay. But the point is that because it's so dark, sometimes I can like kind of lose myself in the black fabric, especially if I'm going for a monochrome wardrobe. It's easily fixed with like a lighter color belt, like my white belt or my um, gourmet belt that has a bunch of little like silver gourmets all over. But regardless, really love all these four pairs of jeans. I was contemplating whether or not I should show you the last two pairs of jeans, which are like the skinny jeans that I bought a couple of years ago. But I think I'll show it to you anyway because Bluenose doesn't just sell mom jeans. They also sell like paper bag mom jeans. They sell high rise, low rise, mid rise, ultra high rise, a lot of skinny jeans and stuff like that. So I figured I just like might as well show you these two anyway. I did buy these a couple of years ago so they're a little bit worn and I don't think they sell them anymore. I think that all the skinny jeans are around in the same realm. Okay so starting off with just the blue pair of skinny jeans. So this is like full skinny jeans like it's really the material is so stretchy like you should not be able to do that with that 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 was not very appropriate. But regardless, you should not be able to do this with a pair of jeans. But I guess this is the, the jegging type. So it's perfect for a jegging. So if you like that type of style, who knows carries these. They do wrinkle really easily just because the material is super thin. And if you do live in like colder areas where I do, it's not the best for winter weather or like for colder weather. Honestly, it's fine. I don't think I paid a lot for it. I don't remember the exact price that I got for this, but I'm pretty sure it was in a buy one get one free set and it was really cheap. So that's probably why I bought it. If jeggings is your thing, then Bluenose does offer some pretty cool jeggings. This is the second pair of like kind of skinny-ish jeans that I got. I got this pair of jeans like a size too big, which is weird because this is the exact size that I wear now in Blue Notes, and yet it's like way too big. So I constantly have to wear a belt with it and also it's like mid-rise, just between mid-rise and like low-rise. So it's like kind of low and I don't really like low jeans anymore. So I don't wear this anymore. I might, I might try to sell it. Is this where I plug my Poshmark? You should follow me on Poshmark. I think my username is also Selena's Corner. Not sure if there's a Z or an S. We'll get back to you later about that. You should check the description box below to follow my Poshmark, where I will be listing clothing for sale. Mmm. Self plug. Okay. I think the TLDR of this entire video is that I really do like Blue Notes's mom jeans. They're really high quality for really cheap jeans honestly and especially for a brand that's a little more accessible like Luna rather than a brand that's a little more high-end like Levi's or Zara if you don't want to go thrifting for a good pair of jeans because if you go thrifting of course you'll be able to find really nice broken in good brand good quality and good price jeans but if you're not into doing that if you don't want to spend like hours and hours of your time trying to find something that's in your size I think Blue Notes offers really great mom jeans and they're super high rise too like they come right above my belly button and I think I have a pretty long torso so that is a nice thing 
thing for people who have longer torsos or people who just really like higher waisted jeans as for the sizing it is their sizing is a little weird but i think you just have to like try it in store which kind of happens in every store so like that's how it be sometimes i hope you really like this video and i do hope that if you are in canada and you want to look for jeans that you'd be able to check out blue if you want to again thrifting in my opinion is the best option and it's also the most sustainable option but not all of us have that time because thrifting does take a lot of time so blue Notes is always a great alternative comment down below any other brands of jeans that you think i should try because i'm always on the lookout for some really good jeans other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you next video bye Thank you.